Hello everyone, my name is Nitin. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll see what is the difference between a star schema and a snowflake schema in any data warehouse environment. Star schema is traditionally the most commonly used approach to design data warehouse. It is simple to implement and has many pros. The overall design is such that we have a centralized fact table which is surrounded by multiple dimension tables. The fact table shows the keys from dimension table and is used for calculating some measures. As part of this video, I will not go in depth in designing a star schema or a snowflake schema. The focus will be what is the difference between star schema and snowflake schema. So here in this example, I want you to pay attention to the dimension employee here. So the dimension employee has these many columns in it. Let's look at some sample rows for this dimension employee. There are four sample records for this table. There is a clear redundant data across the first three records. The office name, office city, state, country, postcode is repeated for the first three records. This is the data redundancy and it can sometimes result in data integrity issues as well. What Snowflake schema does it, you divide this dimension into sub dimension by removing the redundancy. So in a way, we are normalizing this dimension table into sub dimension. I want you to focus on the columns which are here in blue color. Let's look how we can normalize this dimension table using snowflake schema design. First, we'll break this dimension employee table into a sub dimension called as dimension office. Let's look at the column in this sub dimension table. So you can see it has office ID, name, city, state, country, pin code. All the columns which are highlighted here in blue have been moved to this new sub dimension table. So let's look at the sample values for this dimension office table. So this will have just two rows here, one corresponding to the Bangalore office and second corresponding to the Hyderabad office. Now let's look how these changes will impact our dimension employee table. So if you see here, all the five columns corresponding to office has been replaced by a single office ID column here. So the office ID generated here in this dimension office is sourced to dimension employee table. So we have reduced the redundancy in this table. The five columns which were earlier part of dimension employee are now part of a new sub dimension table and the key column of this sub dimension table is sourced into the dimension employee table. So that's how we have further normalized this table by removing the redundant information into a new table. Let's look at some of the sample values for this dimension employee table. The information here, which was repeated Bangalore 1, Bangalore K, India, PIN code has been re replaced just by a number 2, 1, 1, 1. So that's how we have removed the redundant information from the dimension employee table by creating a sub dimension table. So this is the main difference between a star schema and a snowflake schema. In snowflake schema, we break a dimension table which has redundant information in it into sub dimension tables. And then we source the key from those sub dimension table into the main dimension table. Do you think we can create a new sub dimension table by removing these two columns into a new sub dimension table called as dimension department? If you think yes, drop your comment below. Now you understand what is the difference between a star schema and a snowflake schema. So in this video, we saw that a star schema basically is an approach to design data warehouse where there is a centralized fact table, which is surrounded by multiple dimension tables. The fact table shows the key columns from dimension tables. In snowflake schema, we reduce the redundancy by breaking a dimension table into a sub dimension tables. Before we talk about the pros and cons of snowflake schema, I would like to sincerely request you that if you are liking my videos and the content I'm bringing into the channel, please drop a like button. If you want, you can share this with your friends also and ask them to subscribe. Let's talk about the pros and cons of snowflake schema over star schema. The number one advantage of snowflake schema is it reduces the data redundancy. With less data redundancy, the chances of spoiling data integrity is also less. Reducing data redundancy, you are also saving a lot of storage space. Some of the cons of snowflake schema 
over star schema is it requires an extra table and for that extra table it may need a maintenance or an operation overhead like creating a separate script to refresh data in the sub table also the select queries now may take more time because of an additional join conditions to include the sub tables to get the same information however the update in some cases will be faster because now instead of updating four rows you just have to update two rows in this case so less number of rows to update may end up speeding up the process star schema to be simple to implement however implementing snowflake schema can add more complexity all right that's it for this video i hope you like this video if you have any thoughts or feedback for me feel free to drop a comment below thanks a lot good day